A DCA dehumidification system requires the installation of three mechanical systems, an electrical system, a refrigerant system, and an air delivery system. Of these, the air delivery system, or ductwork, is by far the most space critical. Not only is a sufficient volume of air necessary to prevent condensation, ASHRAE recommends 3 to 5 CFM per square foot, but it is also necessary to ensure the proper operation of the dehumidifier. Supply air should cover all exterior surfaces and must not be directed onto the pooled surface. If any insulation is to be used on the ducting, it must be on the outside of the duct. Poorly designed or sized ductwork can lead to damaging conditions such as high head pressures or compressor destroying liquid flood back, both of which can void warranty coverage. Your choice of dehumidifier must consider not only the capacity needed, but the physical dimensions of the dehumidifier and the ductwork attached to it. Options such as supplemental heating equipment can further increase the space requirements. Consider your alternatives. In some cases, a vertical unit may seem to be a good choice, but limited headroom may make a horizontal unit with vertical discharge a better choice. Adequate clearances for servicing and maintaining the unit must also be provided. The direction of the airflow after it leaves the dehumidifier is another factor. The direction of the airflow often determines the optimal rotation of the blower. Whatever your final design may be, it must conform to the latest SMACTA and NASHRAE low velocity duct standards. Please refer to the DCA manual for more information concerning air delivery.